solar system size comparison. 80 plus objects. So many. Let's start. First is 1998 KV26. It is the smallest object in the solar system. Probably even smaller than a man. On the biggest spacecraft like ISS. Full form is International Space Station. It is in collaboration between many space agencies like for example NASA and Rocks Cobos. Next, James Webb Space Telescope. It was just launched on December 25th, Christmas satellite, and is going to discover life on other worlds. And by the way, the largest satellite in the solar system, or basically even in the universe, if there's no life. Next, Duende. Well, it's not that interesting asteroid, but it's in a very small asteroid in the asteroid belt. Next, Itovaka. It is also not that great asteroid. Next, Bennu. It may it hit the Earth soon. And you know how many meters we have reached so far? 525. Yep, many. And a Apopius. This is a near Earth asteroid which will also hit Earth in the next probably 10 years or so. Next is Hermes. It's a funny thing that there is a planet named Hermes which was eaten or just ejected by the sun. But that's only a theoretical thing. Next 2001 VN5. It is not that interesting. Next, Turatatis. It is an orange asteroid, kind of like a boomerang, just a straight. Agrion, the smallest moon in the solar system so far, which orbits Saturn. Actually, Saturn is in champ in the moons. And Acarius, it probably had life long, long ago, but it just got wiped away because it went too close to the sun. Next, Dactyl is not just an ordinary asteroid, it's even a moon. Not of any planet, actually of an asteroid which we see soon, named Ida. Next, Catastalia. It's almost like a bone just it is in shorter break. Jupiter LLI. It is one of the smallest moons of Jupiter. And it was discovered pretty recently. Next, Graspa. Well, not that cool asteroid, but it's a famous one. Styrix. Well, it is the first dwarf moon of that too. Pluto it is like Pluto is the champ in dwarf moons. Dwarf moons are moons which are not orbiting planets, but orbit dwarf planets. Next, Baxius is not in the asteroid belt, but in the Kuiper belt. Kebros, it's another moon of again Pluto. Next, Ida. This was the one which I was talking about when I was explaining Dactyl. And only this moon is pretty tiny compared to Ida. Next, Fernan, the smallest moon of Uranus. I think it even sounds like an American city's name. Next, Nix. Again, another um, dwarf moon of that too, Pluto, once again. Almenta Tool or Alcarot. 
This is a very weird asteroid which I'll explain in some time. Next, Puck. It's another moon of Uranus. Fernando, another moon of Uranus. I think it also sounds like an American city name. Hydra. As you can see in the picture given, it is once again a Plutonian. That means a moon. Deimos, the smallest moon of Mars. I think it will hit Mars soon and form rings. Or I think Phobos will hit soon. And it's the largest one of Mars. Next, Fener, a moon of Saturn, not that interesting. Then Saladin, a moon of Jupiter, not that interesting. Iocast, a moon of, again, Jupiter, but not that interesting. Remus, well, it seems like that, except it orbits an asteroid which has got another moon. And that is Stacia. Oh, and I also miss these two moons, Metis and Elmetis. Do we call it Elmetis? I'm not sure about the correct name, but here they are. Moons of Jupiter. Not that great, but they are famous. Hayaka. You may be thinking if it's a dwarf moon, then it's obviously of Pluto. But nope, it's of Hayaka. This time only with two moons, including Hayaka itself. Megaclit, another Jupiter moon, not that uh, great. Stacia, Remus orbits Stacia, and it's a very big asteroid too. Phi if you look closely, it will almost look like a skull. Scrape T, right? Then Corridalia, moon of Uranus, not that great, but they are famous. Thermisto, and moon of Jupiter, not that uh, great, but they are famous again. Carney, and moon of Jupiter, but not that famous. Carpo, again, same thing as Carney. Hygieia, it is in the top four largest asteroids. At least not in top four, in top I think 10, yeah, because Davidia and Juno are there. Well, Davidia is in fine, but what about Juno? It sounds like there's satellite orbiting Jupiter, but it's an asteroid. Charclo, surprise, surprise, it has got rings. Who's right? There's a comment named Chiron, which is not here, but Paulus in the top four largest. I know Hygieia should have been, but Pianigis. Vesta, the second biggest asteroid. It's pretty big. And only are some dwarf planets. AZ 2034. Not that great, but they are famous. Orcus. It almost looks like it has got life, but actually it's very icy, although it looks like it has life. Sun, so the furthest object in the solar system. Yeah, I mean like, then Sun from the solar system, like Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, which are outside of the solar system, are further, but this is the one which were made naturally. Why the one and why the two were made from humans artificially? Ceres, the biggest asteroid or, well, the smallest dwarf planet, but it's your choice. Quarrel, another dwarf planet with a moon named Wave, what not included here. Mindrada, in the top five biggest Uranian moons. That means a moon which orbits Uranus. And Minimars. And this big bump over here which you see its name is Hercel Crater. Don't know why it's named like that but so uh, it's like that. You can't change names. Enslia Dinkus. 
millet possibly may have lied and it ought be sat on in moon with life cool right proto is the darkest moon in this solar system which orbits neptune probably that's the reason why it's so dark because neptune is the coldest planet if you don't think pluto is a planet tetis another big moon of saturn it also has a crater but it's not that big as minimas dion in pretty big saturnian moon well it is pretty famous but it doesn't has that many features you know craters and all ariel it almost sounds like ariel the mermaid from disney but it again orbits uranus umbrel the darkest moon of uranus ariel is the lightest i'm sorry the brightest actually the texture is opposite but yeah and you yeah, also don't forget that umbrel is the moon of uranus saturn the biggest moon of pluto it almost looks like it has got chocolate on its edges huh lyaptus it is a very weird moon of saturn sometimes it has got brown spots over here and sometimes most of it is just brown mucky mucky and reddish planet you know of it but it's actually an easter planet easter egg planet gong gong it changes to name very recently its original name was being 2007 or 10 even this moon's name was changed which name is now sunglow or something oh beyond the second biggest moon of uranus not that interesting in terms of features reha in moon of saturn well it even has what rings probably but it's mostly made of just just like a jupiter's then comes titania the biggest moon of uranus hmm and it is not that great in terms of features halmea it is not in perfect circle it's like an oval with uh, rings even next eris and pluto it is kind of controversial which is bigger but eris has got more mass and pluto is bigger sorry pluto but you are not in planet anymore at least you are in the solar system with that heart triton the biggest moon of neptune well in the future it may even be ejected from neptune or it would be shredded into rings by the roche limit well roche limit is the part where a moon or an asteroid turns into your rings that is same what happened for sai saturn europa possibly the second place for life Actually, there may already be life below this icy surface, and it almost looks like somebody scratched it. Actually, those are lakes or rivers. Next is Luna, our moon. There are quite many craters, and this one named the Tycho crater. It was a recently formed one when the dinosaurs were around. and it has got stretches which separate miles away from its center next io is the first place where volcanoes were found outside of the earth yeah many of them are erupting right now probably callisto 
It is a pretty big moon of Jupiter and is the oldest moon in the solar system too. It has also got spots with a few. Mercury. It's a funny thing that, well, well, you know it's the smallest planet, but it's even smaller than two moons, which are Titan and Ganymede. Titan is in super duper orange. Moon of Saturn, it almost looks like an orange without any leaf. And it has got a surface just like Earth. Ganymede, it's the only moon in the solar system to have its own magnetic field. Yan is also the biggest moon in the solar system. Mars, probably the real next place for life. And yeah, what are the current features now? In this big valley you can see over here, his name is Valenus Marinus. And the largest peak over here is named Olympus Mons. The largest one in the solar system. Then Venus. It is the hottest planet in the solar system because of its atmosphere. And it is the hot enough to melt lead, which is in the periodic table. It's an element of it. And then finally comes our planet Earth. There is nothing to tell about it. Bye bye Earth. Next, Neptune. Neptune is the smallest ice giant. It is also the poorest planet. With that dark spot, it is actually gone and there are also white winds going in there. Uranus, the coldest planet in the solar system. And it has even got seven rings. And Saturn, not many rings, but yeah, lot of them. And it is very famous because of its rings. And Jupiter, the largest planet in the solar system. And it has got a big giant red spot, which is actually going to be wiped out soon. First it could hold three Earths, now only one. But never mind, another one is growing. Next comes the big humongous sun. It is the biggest object in the solar system, which if it wasn't there, then uh, everything would become rough, rough new planets. Rough new planets are planets which don't orbit any star. And is the brightest object. Hey Venus, I know. But anyways, what here is Nemesis and Nebru. They once a part of the solar system, but they left to make their own system. And they grew it may have crashed on Earth in 2012. That's why the Mayan calendar ended revolving. And yeah, that is solar system size comparison. I know it is very big, but anyways, bye and thank you.